In this video, we're going to talk about condensation in your camper van, what causes it and how to avoid it. Hi guys, welcome back to Dub Ventures. Now, if you own a camper van or a motorhome, or even if you go like camping in your tent, the chances are that you have come across some type of condensation issue during the time that you've been camping. Now, the very first time we went on our very first camping trip in our camper van, just over about two years ago, when we went camping for the very first time, we woke up in the morning and the, the van inside was covered in condensation everywhere. Every little piece of metal that was exposed, all the buttons everywhere, everything. Now, when we first went camping, we only went with um, a blow-up mattress in the back of the van uh, because when we first got our van, because it was a self-build camper van, we were so excited that we just wanted to get out there. Now, one of the first jobs that we got done, we got the van actually insulated. And when we got that done, we went camping uh, on a campsite for the first time. No electrics, no nothing. Now, it turns out, after all of that, like two years later, we actually found out the van wasn't insulated and that could have been like a, a factor as to why we had such bad condensation. But basically what I'm saying is the very first camping trip we ever did, we woke up and we thought, wow, look at the condensation. And we just assumed that's the way it is when you go camping. Now, a few years later, after finding out that the van actually wasn't insulated, we have done a video on that. We'll put that in the uh, description below if you want to watch that um, after you've watched this video. It's a long story. But after finding out that and getting more educated, if you like, on about condensation in the van, we've actually found out that there is actually things, tips and tricks that you can do to avoid condensation in your van. So watch the rest of this video, watch to the end because we've got some really good tips for you. So guys, the first thing that we need to do is we need to understand what is condensation. Now, I'm not going to get too technical here, so because I don't like completely understand the scientific terminology myself. But basically, if it's quite cold outside and you're inside, when you like breathe or when you sweat, when you cook, when you have like damp clothes on, anything like that that is moisture, when that warm moisture comes off of your body or off of clothes or when you're cooking and things like that, that moisture goes into the air, it condensates and basically it attaches itself as like water droplets onto anything that's cool. Now, obviously, if you're in a camper van uh, or a motorhome or anything like that, anything that is cool is going to be things like the metal parts around your van, the biggest thing is the windows. Obviously, that's where the most condensation comes. Um, we've had condensation like on our lights and everything. Basically, it gets everywhere. Now, it's a big problem, condensation, because if left untreated and you just go out all the time and you always just, you know, wipe it up afterwards and things like that, the issues it can cause, you know, especially if you've got like um, any health problems or anything, is the condensation can actually cause mold if it's just left untreated because there's going to be bits of water droplets that get into places that you don't even know and eventually you know that can turn to mold and obviously that can cause breathing problems the other thing is as well it can obviously cause damage to your vehicle again the water can get into like it gets everywhere and if it goes down the back of certain things, it can get into buttons, it can get into your wiring system, uh, it can cause rust on your vehicle, where the connections, like you've got like electrical connections, it can eventually cause rust on that. So it's a big problem. And just wiping over it, you know, every time, um, yes, it's going to help, but it's not going to really cure the problem because if you keep leaving it, the condensation will just build and build and build. And eventually it will either cause serious health problems or it's going to damage your vehicle. The other thing guys as well, we all have been into those camper vans, whether you're looking at like ones that you're looking to buy or things like that, some camper vans stink. And it's because of that reason, because the condensation and you know, it's just been left and over years, it's built up like all this mildew and everything and it stinks. And you don't want that in your camper van. So guys, what's the main causes of condensation in your van then? Well, the main cause of condensation in the van where it starts from is you breathing. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that. You have to breathe when you're in your camper van. The second sort of like main thing that probably causes condensation is cooking in the van. Now, yes, if the weather is fantastic outside, which in the UK, it's very rare that that is, the chances are you're going to have to do the cooking inside the van. 
if you do your cooking inside the van, again, the moisture, the heat and everything, it's going to come out, the steam and everything, that's going to cause it. Uh, the third sort of light thing that's mainly going to cause condensation is if you've been out and about and it's been raining outside or, you know, you've been sweating and, you know, and basically your clothes have got like moisture on them. If you bring them in the van, if you like hang them up in your van and things like that, again, condensation is going to come out. It's no different to the things that you do at home. We all know when you take a shower and things like that, you get the condensation. And that's the other main thing as well. If you have shower facilities in your van, again, that's going to cause condensation. So what do you do about it? Now, as I mentioned before, when we first got our van, the first job that we did was we got the van insulated and we got it all insulated behind here and everywhere else. But as we found out when we got our leisure battery done, it turned out they'd not actually done the job. Long story, as I said before. So the more camping trips that we went on and, you know, the more that we found out about things, obviously the condensation was becoming a big issue for us because, you know, it was waking up during the night. We had like, was sometimes water dripping on us, like, you know, off the lights. You can see like these lights here. Sometimes we had like, like water literally like dripping off of them and like landing on us. So we said, we can't do this anymore. There's obviously a reason, um, you know, why the condensation is like this. And for us, it was the fact that just breathing during the night was causing that. So we started looking into things. Now, when we found out that the camper van was not insulated, obviously I got it done. We thought that when that was done, that that would probably cure all our condensation problems. So the next time we went on a camping trip, you know, we sort of like did some tests and so on. Now, even though the condensation was nowhere near as bad, like the morning after when we had that done, it was still there. So we thought there's things that we need to like start doing. So now I'm gonna go into a few things that we've done that helped us with our condensation issue. One of the first things that we did guys, we bought these uh, like silica gel packs, um, you know, they, like they absorb moisture and like and when you've done with them, like you can put them in the microwave and then, you know, that gets some moisture out and then you can like reuse them and reuse them. Now, what I will say about those packs, they do work, but it's not going to get rid of all the condensation in your vehicle. I would imagine you would need a lot of them scattered everywhere around the van um, for them to be effective to like really, really soak the moisture up. So for us, it wasn't really an effective thing that worked for us. Although they do take a little bit of moisture out, it's not gonna cure all the condensation. It's certainly not gonna take all the condensation off the windows. So guys, the first thing that we, we started when we started looking into um, how to like get rid of our condensation problem was, the first thing that we learned was is airflow. Now, the biggest thing that you need to do in your camper van is create airflow. Now, if you don't have a ventilation to let the, um, you know, to let like the moist air out, yes, it's going to condensate. So what we started doing was we started opening um, our front windows only very slightly when we was on camping trips. I'll now show you how we do that and how we do it where if it's raining, the water doesn't come inside. Right, so as you can see on the outside of the van where the window is, we've got these wind deflectors fitted. I'll now show you why. So guys, as you can see, I'm sat inside the van, got the window wound up, and then we've got the wind deflectors here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to wind the window down and show the gap that it leaves. So guys, what I've done is I've wound the window down and as you can see, I can get my finger through, but because of the wind deflector there, if it was raining, that water can't get inside. But I'll show you outside now so it makes more sense. So what I've done is I've actually, as you've seen inside, I've wound the window down. But if you look at this, it's like, I don't know if you can tell there, but the window's down there. Just try and get under. Can't really see it, but the window is wound down and there's about an inch gap on both sides of each window. So we've got both windows wound down um, by about an inch each side. Now, because we've got the wind deflectors on, like I said, if it's raining or anything, it doesn't really matter because the the water, when it goes like over the wind deflector, it will actually go past the window still. And then if I just, as you can see, if I wind it up, there we go, closed. Now guys, doing that simple little thing there as well as having the van insulated, we noticed a big difference because on camping trips after that, the condensation was so much less, but we still got a little bit of condensation on the windows. So we thought, well, what else could we do? So I'll give you another tip here, what we did. 
Now, like I said, the big problem with condensation is it mainly sticks to windows because that's the coldest surface on the outside. So the warm, moist air can condensate and stick to it. Now, I'm certain if you're into camping, you've all seen these before. It's like the um, insulated mats that you can, you know, you, they roll out. They're only cheap. Um, you can get them from like most camping, uh, go outdoor centre type of things. Um, and basically, one of these mats, what we decided to do is, just to try it, we decided to cut one down and see if we could actually fit it to the window and see what that does. So I'll show you that now. So guys, what we did is, when we got one of these is, it's just a coincidence that it actually was exactly the same length from here to here for it to actually fit on the window. So what we did is, we just cut it down to size. Now what we do is, at night time, before we go to bed, we're going on the campsite, we basically just, just show you, we just push that in there, push this in here like this, and it just basically presses in like this. And then what we do then, just unclip these for the curtains. So what we did was, we did that, fitted that on there, and then the morning after, when we obviously opened the curtains and everything, took that off, unbelievably, there was literally no condensation on the window whatsoever. There's a, like a tiny little bit like around the edges, but actually on the window, there was no condensation. So guys, I don't know if it'll work for you, for you because obviously all windows are different, but that completely worked for us. So what we did is we decided to do a similar thing to the back window. So we got some more of this and basically we just like cut it out, stuck it together. Then when we go to campsites, we put something similar on the back window. Fantastic, really easy, cheap way to sort of like put some type of like insulation on the window. So now the biggest place that you're going to get most of your condensation it is going to be the windscreen. Now what we do is because we um, open the front window slightly what that does is it does create a bit of like an airflow um obviously you know across the windscreen type of thing and it does help with the condensation now what we do at night time we put like um a, a, an inside blind uh, like a blackout blind across the front and um, that doesn't really do anything with the condensation but something that someone told us once and we thought would give it a try was if you put like like a, a small USB fan or something and put that like on the uh, like on your dashboard or like on your seat at the front to increase a bit of airflow, um, the, you know we got told that that could help. So we tried that once, um, and you know what? It did. It worked. It didn't like completely get rid of the condensation on the front windscreen, but it did work a little bit. So I'll just show you what we mean by that. So yeah. So what we do is we basically plug one of these little cheap USB fans into uh, into the electrics and then we just turn it on and then all we do is we just leave it running like that overnight and you know aim it towards the window and believe it or not that actually helps now even if you don't have electrics in the van you can just like these um, little mini USB fans you can just get like one of the charger packs Plug that in. We've actually done that before. One of the charger packs uh, will last like a full night. It's not noisy at all. And just keep that fan running. And again, what that does is it increases the air circulation. Now, because you've got both your front windows open, it's kind of like helping the air to circulate. So good tip. And it does work because that did help a lot with the condensation on the front window. Guys, anyone that's not seen our folding seat bracket before, if this is the first time um, on our channel, I'll leave a link in the description um, so you can check out about what the folding seat bracket is all about. And while we're here, if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out and it's free. And press that notification bell as well so that you get notifications every time you put a, a video up. Done it? Excellent. Right, let's get on to some actual other tips that we can give you to help with your condensation issue in your camper van or motorhome or tent as well. So other things that you can do to um, help with your condensation issues is when you pack the van, 
make sure that it's done in a way where like air is allowed to flow around so don't like like have things pushed up against like the walls you know letting like cram clothes into like every like little gap that you can find in everything because again when the air is not circulating you know it, it eventually you know especially if you're out camping and things it will cause condensation if you have any wet clothes and things like that you know when you've been out and about if you know that you can't get them dry well, if you leave them out, it's going to cause condensation. What we do is we've got like a like a little plastic um, like tub that's sealable, and any clothes that are wet, especially because we've got a dog Thor, a little Westy. Um, you know, if he's been like in puddles and things like that, and he's got his jacket on and things, you know, once we've dried him, if his jacket's still wet, you know, we put that like in a little plastic tub and we seal it, um, you, you know, until we can get it like washed and dried and things. The other thing that you can do as well um, to try and avoid um, the condensation issues when you do your cooking if it's possible do it outside if it's raining and so on and you can't really do it outside then try and open the door as much as you can to obviously you know let all the moisture out things like obviously when you boil a kettle and things like that because that's one of the biggest things that's going to create condensation as well if you've got like a motorhome and obviously you shower inside and things now motorhomes generally have good ventilation, they've got like ventilation fans and things like that and it does suck the moisture out but some camper vans have showers and they don't have things like that. Again, if you're on a campsite and things, you know, if you can, shower at the actual campsite facilities and so on but if you are going to end up showering in the van, again, you know, try and keep it well ventilated but the other thing is as well, every time that you do do something that causes moisture, wipe it, clean it, you know, use like uh, microfiber cloths that you can like wring out and things. Um, so when you bring them back in the van, um, you know, they're dry. But yeah, just clean it and dry everything as you go along. Another thing that you can do that we've been told and we're looking into at the moment is you can put external screen covers on the uh, front of your windscreen. Now, I've spoken to different people and some people say it works, some people say it doesn't. Until we try it ourselves, we're not going to know, but some people do say that putting an external screen cover around your windscreen works. Now, if any of you guys, um, you know, got one of them external screen covers and does it help with the condensation, you know, in anywhere in the van, put in the, uh, in the comments below, you know, let us know because anybody else that's watching that's thinking about getting one, it's good to hear like your experience about if you've got one and if it works. Now in our camper van, we don't have um, any type of heating um, in the van because, you know, we haven't well camped um, really um, since we've had the camper van. It is something that we're looking into doing. So when we go to campsites, you know, we hook up to um, a hookup. We've got like a hookup that comes, you know, the wire comes through the window and everything. You know, we can plug in inside the van. Um, now, because we don't have a heater, we rely on like a fan heater um, that's like a dry air so you know that doesn't like cause any condensation now if you're going to use any type of heater that is like gas um like a gas sort of like fueled heater that is going to cause a lot of condensation now those type of gas heaters have like you know their own issues with you know you, you know the gases that it produces and everything can be quite dangerous and so on um obviously they you know they produce a flame and things so you know you have to be careful with things like that anyway but it does like produce a lot of um, moisture and condensation. So it's not something that you can rely on um, if condensation is an issue for you. So what we try and do, um, I mean, we don't use um, the gas. We have one, but we don't use uh, the gas heater. Now, we use a gas cooker, but again, we keep the, everything well ventilated, you know, and then we always wipe everything over every time we use a cooker. Even if it's not got any moisture on, like the windows and things, we still just give it a quick wipe just in case there's a little bit on there. Now, the thing is, what we do at night time, we, when we, like Thor's been out and had his last pee, we've been to the toilet and everything, and we don't intend to get back out the van for the night, we actually turn our fan heater on um, that gives a dry heat, and we try and like, like warm the van inside like so it's like a quite a gentle heat type of thing then we turn it off because if it's warm inside the van you've got less chance of like the moisture um the cold moisture attaching to the windows and so on now a big big help with that is again when we got the van insulated you know the heat stays in the van for a lot longer so that's another thing that helps with the condensation for us another thing that's been suggested to us in the past is um some people especially motorhomes because like obviously their windows are a lot bigger and they have a lot more room to store things is the um it's like a, a hoover if you like for a window and what it does is it gets all the condensation um off the uh, windows now for us that would is fantastic in theory but 
with storage being like an issue, obviously being a camper van, you know, you're limited to space and everything. You know, we don't really want to be carrying around uh, something like that. Um, even though it sounds fantastic idea, and I've, from what I've heard, they do work. Have you guys got one? Tell us about it. Put it in the comment section below. We want to know, you know, do you use them and are they worth the money and everything? But for us, I think carrying one of them around all the time would probably be a bit of an issue with storage space. The other thing, guys, is that I almost forgot to tell you about is we have one of these in the van and these really, really, really do pull the moisture out of the air. So I do highly recommend that you get one of these as well. Guys, I'll put a link in the description um, if you're after one of these, because like I said, I cannot recommend these enough. These really, really do work. All right, guys, as a final tip that we have, um, when you go on a camping trip or if you're wild camping or anything, if you can, park your van in the direction of where the sun rises. That way, because early in the morning when the sun comes up and everything, you've got the sun shining into the van. That will help to get rid of the condensation before you even wake up. So, quick little tip for you there. So it goes without saying, um, when it comes to like, like, you know, like getting rid of condensation in your van. Now, I will say, I don't think it's possible really. Um, not for us anyway, because we don't have like, have like extractor fans and things like that in the van. So for us, you know, I don't think we would ever be able to completely get rid of condensation completely. But all the tips that we've gave you, you know, that's something that, you know, it does help because all the little things that we've mentioned, you know, we've done it and it does work. So, you know, do give them a try and, you know, and if you've got any tips that, you know, you guys know, put it in the comments below and, you know, let us know if there's anything that you've tried. Because I have heard, like, some people, they smear certain things on the windows. Like, you can get that, I think it's called, like, defog or something. It's like a, a liquid you put it on your windows and things. And again, we've heard people say it works. We've heard people say it doesn't work. We've heard people say that they put some, like, crazy things smeared on the window so it doesn't get, like, the condensation and so on. But... It goes without saying, everybody's got different ideas and everything, but the tips that we've gave you, they do actually work, so give them a try. And I mean, the main thing is, it's airflow. You need to get the airflow and you need to be able to get the air that's coming like, off you or cooking, you know, or anything like that. Obviously, try and get it like out of the van or, you know, use like the, like the silica um, uh, gel packs, you know, the extractor sort of like uh, fan that we've got there that we just showed you a minute ago. What I will say is, um, if you do use products like that and you are leaving them lying about your van, if you've got a dog, be very, very careful that your dog does not get hold of any of these packs or anything because they'll be very, very toxic for your dog if your dog gets hold of it. So put them in places like when you're asleep and things that there's no way that your dog could like get to it. So it's definitely something that you need to consider, guys. Right, guys, that's uh, it for today's video. One thing that I will say is, um, every time that we've been on a camping trip, every time we get home, we disinfect everything. All the places where any moisture or anything could have got, that's just something that we do because, you know, when the moisture gets into places, mold can build up and things. So set up as you mean to go on and keep everything clean, keep the airflow going and, you know, and just keep everything nice and light, packed in a way that it's not cluttered and things, you know, that it makes it feel nice and free and easy. Alright guys, if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We've got lots and lots of exciting videos to come up. We've got some modification videos coming up soon that we're excited about. We've got some camping trips coming up. Um, we've already got some camping trips arranged. Um, so, you know, there's lots and lots um, that we're doing. We are aiming to get two videos a week up. Please subscribe. We appreciate every single one of you. Um, people that have subscribed already. You know, we can't thank you enough it means so much to us it means so much to the channel we love it when you guys send us comments you know we reply to every comment if we can any questions anything like that put it in the comments below hit that like button and until the next video guys bye for now